What is the digestive system? Digestion is a process which breaks down complex food into simple soluble substances so that they can be easily absorbed by the blood. For complete digestion of food, the food has to travel through a 9 meter long canal from the mouth to the rectum. This canal is called the alimentary canal. Along the journey, chemical substances called enzymes are added to the food for its quick breakdown. Enzymes are produced from organs called glands. The different parts of the alimentary canal and the digestive system include mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine and large intestine, while the associated glands include salivary glands, liver and pancreas. Role of Enzymes in Digestion the physical handling of food involves the mechanical breaking down and mixing of the food. The chemical aspect of digestion includes the processing of food by enzymes contained in digestive gland secretions. Enzymes are biocatalysts, that is chemical substances present in the body which greatly speed up almost a million times the rate of the physiochemical reactions. At the end of the reaction, the enzyme remains unchanged and separates from the product of the reaction. Without enzymes, reactions would occur very slowly or not at all, making life almost impossible. All living cells make enzymes, but enzymes themselves are non-living. What are the characteristics of enzymes? All enzymes are proteins which are destroyed by heating. They act best within a temperature range of 35 degrees centigrade to 40 degrees centigrade. Enzymes are specific in their action. A particular enzyme acts only on one substance that is substrate and always forms the same end products. Enzymes can be reused. Enzymes only speed up the rate of the reaction. The mouth. Digestion begins in the mouth. The teeth helps break down the food into small pieces. The salivary glands secrete saliva. Saliva contains enzymes which help digestion and also moisten the food so that it can be easily swallowed. The tongue helps roll and push the food into the pharynx. Taste is also a function of the tongue. Esophagus It is a narrow tube that connects the mouth to the stomach. It thus helps carry food from the mouth to the stomach. Stomach it is a muscular pouch-like structure in which the food remains for almost 4 hours. The walls of the stomach secrete gastric juice contains hydrochloric acid which partially digests proteins. Small intestines From the stomach, the food passes into the small intestines. The small intestine is a long, 7 meter narrow, highly coiled structure in which the food remains for 4 to 5 hours and gets completely digested. The small intestine receives enzymes and secretions from the pancreas that is the pancreatic juice and the liver. The liver produces bile which is temporarily stored in the gallbladder. Large intestine. The small intestine continues into the large intestine. It absorbs water. The undigested solid food waste passes along this tube and is temporarily stored in the rectum. It is then removed as feces through the anus. Food remains here for nearly 12 hours. Organs that help in the digestion of food Carbohydrate Digestion occurs in the mouth, the stomach, the upper part of the small intestine that is duodenum and the small intestines that is ileum. Proteins are digested in the stomach and the small intestines. Enzymes secreted by the stomach, the pancreas and the small intestines help to digest proteins. Fats are digested in the duodenum with the help of bile Bile is secreted by the liver. Absorption and Assimilation Absorption Absorption is a process by which various substances pass across a layer of cells into the internal environment of the body. Due to absorption, the body is supplied with all the nutrients it requires for its activities. Absorption occurs in all parts of the digestive tract, but the main site of absorption is in the ileum. Water, Mineral salts and vitamins are absorbed into the blood throughout the length of the small intestine. Water and mineral salts are also absorbed in the stomach and in the large intestine. Simple sugars like glucose, fructose and galactose and amino acids which are the end products of protein digestion are absorbed in the ileum. Assimilation 
The food that has been digested and absorbed into the blood stream is converted into body substances and becomes part of the organism. The nutrients are first carried to the liver. In the liver, the following metabolic conversions take place. Glucose. Glucose from the intestines is converted into insoluble glycogen and stored in the liver itself. When required by the body as an energy source, the liver reconverts the glycogen into glucose and returns it into the blood. Excess glucose is converted and transported to the adipose cells around the body to be stored as fat. Fats Some of the fatty products of digestion that arrive in the liver are used to manufacture fatty substances like cholesterol. Amino acids Amino acids are used to make new proteins. The liver produces a certain amount of surplus nitrogen which is rapidly converted to urea. Urea is the chief waste product formed. Some of the excess amino acids may also be converted into glucose.